Hey guys, so um, don't mind the hair. I actually like just showered and I don't really feel like, you know, styling it or putting any heat on it. Um, so this is what we're working with, but that is not why you clicked on this video. You definitely clicked on it because you wanted to see my no makeup, makeup, everyday, natural routine. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get on with the video. Okay, so before I do anything, I'm just gonna, as usual, put my Laneige lip mask on. I like to do this before I start my makeup, um, just because I feel like it gives some hydration to my lips. Sorry guys, I'm looking at my viewfinder. <laughs> there we go. And now we can actually get started. I usually like to start with the eyes. It's just something I do, I don't know why. I'm gonna be going in with my e.l.f. Professional eyelash curler. Oh, I should probably get a mirror. Give me one second. There we go. So I'm just gonna be curling my eyelashes. Sorry, I'm gonna be looking this way because you know what? I'm just not too advanced to be looking at the camera while I'm doing my makeup. And I don't wanna poke my eye out because this thing, you guys, you really have to be careful with it. For some reason, it has like more strength than all the other ones and I just don't wanna pull my eyelashes out. That would not be very fun. So I'm just going in, curling my eyelashes. Oh, look at that. I love this curler. With that done, we're just going to go in with my mascara, my everyday mascara when I'm just trying to, you know, get out the door as soon as possible is the Maybelline Total Temptation Waterproof Mascara. I find that waterproof formulas just work with my eyelashes better. I know that it isn't very healthy for your eyelashes, but what you gonna do? Mine droop very, very easily. So I'm just going in and I apply a little bit of coats. Once again, I don't do too, too much. Just enough to get a little bit of oomph there. Do you guys have like one good eye? I feel like everybody has that one good eye where the eye, uh, where the mascara actually turns out good and the other one's just like, mm, not, not so much. Next thing, um, I'm gonna be going in with my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I love this thing, literally holy grail product. Once again, because it is my everyday no makeup makeup look, I'm only gonna be doing, you know, a minimal amount and I'm not gonna be putting any contour on just because I want it to look really, really natural. Look at all these baby hairs. There we go. No, no. There we go. Um, and I, because I do have a heart-shaped face, I realize that it just looks better if I contour these two top areas and try and avoid this area because, you know, the whole thing about heart-shaped faces is that the sides of the forehead are the largest part and I'm trying to minimize that to get that, you know, perfect oval shaped face. And then trick with your bronzer, which I'm sure you guys have seen already on other videos, try and go a little bit higher than what you would normally do. It makes your face kind of lift up. Perfect. I actually, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I also don't really contour my nose unless it's like a full glam sort of thing, so I'm not gonna be doing that today. I'm gonna do a little bit under the chin here to make it look, or up here, a little bit more angled and defined. Never forget the area underneath the ear as well as beside the ear, which I've already said, but you know, gotta remember it. Okay. So we're going to be done with the bronzer. That's literally all I'm going to do. I don't think I need any more. Next thing we're going to go in with is we're going to go in with my Diffy brows. So my soap brows. Um, I've already showed you guys this in one of my other videos. I can link it down below for you. I don't want to get this at the camera. <laughs> Spray it like twice. You really don't want to use that much water. Otherwise, it's um, going to get... A little bit too liquidy and you're really gonna see that soap in your eyebrows and we don't want to be doing that 
So I coated my little spoolie with the soap. Just went straight in and now I'm just gonna be applying it onto my eyebrows to make them nice and fluffy. I also like to tail, take the tail of my eyebrow and flick it upwards a little bit as well. There we go. And I'm just going to do the other eyebrow off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, and just to keep the, you know, natural look kind of going, I'm not going to be filling in my eyebrows, but I am going to go in with the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Pen. I actually have a video on this. That is the same video with the soap brow technique that I use. Once again, I will link it down below. And I'm gonna go in and just make little hair-like strokes wherever I think I have some bald spots. I need to make it look nicer. I just filled in the rest of my eyebrows. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit hard to do it in front of the camera. But as a close-up, this is what they look like. I don't know if you guys know, but I also seem to have one good eyebrow and one bad eyebrow. Like this one is just, I don't even know what's going on there, but that's okay. It's fine. Eyebrows naturally are sisters. They're not twins. It's okay. So next thing we're going to be going in with is just my under eye concealer. I'm very, very light with this stuff. So I'm just going to be going in with my e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealer. This thing is great. I literally like always 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 get creases from all types of under eye concealers but this one is actually pretty good especially when I combine it with my um, powder so I'm just gonna open it up and put some on I just go in with my finger put a bit of product on there okay and then just dab dab Every once in a while, I do put it on the outside here, as you usually have seen, but for some reason, I just, today I don't feel like it, so we're just going to be dabbing like that. Alrighty. When I'm done with that, I'm going to be going in with my sponge. This is the e.l.f. Uh, I believe it's the under eye concealer sponge. I'm not exactly sure what the name of it is, but I could definitely link it down below for you guys. So it is already a little bit damp, and I'm going to be going in and, you know, Blending that out. You guys, I actually just realized that I completely forgot to prime my um, under eye. So I do have a little bit of concealer on, but it's okay. We're going to go on top of that concealer with a bit of my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Oh my. <laughs> so I just go in with my finger once again. Just dot, 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 dot. I was wondering, I was like, why isn't this blending out as smoothly as it usually does? Hmm. I wonder why they do it. I wonder why. Yeah. I actually really, really like this putty primer because I feel like it does a tiny bit of color correcting, at least for me. Probably because I do have a little bit of yellow skin, so the pink cancels out, like, the yellow, makes it a little bit more neutral. So, round two, we're gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna take a little bit of concealer. You guys, I usually don't do this. I usually put the putty primer on first and I don't go in twice with concealer, but you know, it is what it is. Sometimes it happens. I already had my coffee, but I guess I'm gonna need to have coffee more than once today. Alrighty, so round two, here we go. Okay, so next thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be going in with some powder to set that. I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish uh, Powder. Love this thing. Holy grail. It is the number two and medium. I have like the little trial size. Can you see me? Hello. <laughs> you can see my mirror there. So I'm going to be going in with my Morphe M330 brush. This is actually a blending brush, but I feel like it works perfectly fine for under eyes. Okay, so that's it for the eyes, pretty much. They are all done. I do have a visitor who wants to say hi. 
No, there was Layla. <laughs> She's watching me do my makeup. She actually just got her groom, so she looks a little bit like Sid the Sloth. What do you guys think? <laughs> now, going in with the cheeks, I'm going to be going in with the oh-so-famous Glossier Cloud Paint. Looks like this. Like this. I do have some other colors, but what I've been liking recently for summer is I take the Glossier Dusk. Okay? And then I take the Glossier um, Beam. So like a peachy color and more of a nudie color and I mix them together just because I feel like the peach is a little bit too peach for me sometimes. It looks really, really nice when I wear pink tops, coral tops, all of that stuff. But when I go for more neutral, I like to just blend them together. Important thing about uh, the cloud paint, you guys, is use a little, little, little bit of product. Try not to even squeeze the tube because if you do that, I promise you, it's going to gush out. Gush out. This is pretty much what I did. I have the two colors on my finger and I'm just going to blend them together and you guys, I promise you that that is definitely going to be enough product. I think I might have even put a little bit too much. So what I like to do once again, because I like to have my face looking very lifted instead of droopy, um, I like to just put, I do like that little fish face and I put it upwards. Now I'm gonna wipe off the excess and I'm just gonna blend what I have with my fingers. I feel like that's honestly like the best way. And there we go. Next thing I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be doing lips. And this is exactly why I applied the lip balm at the very, very beginning. I feel like now it has already set in, so my lip liner is not going to be going everywhere. And um, now I'm gonna be going in with my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liner. This is the oh so famous one. Um, yeah, I usually just overline my lips a tiny, tiny bit, not too much. Once again, this isn't like full glam makeup, so I'm not gonna be going in too heavy. I do like the pouty look, so I do overline a little bit more just in this area. Okay, so with the lip liner done, we're going to be going in with the Glossier Generation G Lipstick in Cake. So this is a little bit of a peachy color. I really do like the peachy sort of nude colors. I feel like they work really, really well with my skin tone. Pinks don't, you know, work too well. So this is what it looks like. And now we're just going to be dabbing it onto my lips. Not too much, just a dab. little dab there for today sorry you guys it's like a little bit uneven for today I actually don't think I'm gonna be going in with any lip gloss just because I kind of like the way that this looks but every once in a while I will go in with lip gloss usually I go in with the Glossier lip gloss not the sparkly the clear one I'm just out of that one right now but they do have a holographic lip gloss you know what? Do it for YouTube. Maybe I will. Just go in with a tiny, tiny bit. Um, just to keep my brush clean, my little applicator clean, I'm going to go in with my finger instead, take some product off, and And there we go. To finish off the look, we do want that natural glow. Um, the best thing I've actually found so far to give you a really, really natural glow is the Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer in Nude Glow. A little bit on the nose. Okay. I feel like I already took too much, but that's okay. It's fine. And then we're going to be going in on the high points of our cheeks. I'm going to need to take a little bit more product, but for now... 
fine point make a little bit of like a c shape because that's where the sun naturally hits your face high point of the nose as well so i'll center there we go and we're gonna go in with a tiny bit more on the cheek here and add a little bit more here why not There we go, look at that nice glow. That is pretty much my everyday makeup, no makeup look, no makeup, makeup look, there we go. It does, you know, you do see a little bit of makeup, but you know what, that's kind of what I like. Um, if you guys want to use a little bit less product, of course, it's always up to you. I do like my eyelashes being very, very pretty, so I do go a little bit more with the mascara. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit that like button and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. And uh, other than that, I hope you guys have a very, very great day. Bye.